I was asked a question recently that I think I can answer in a five minute video, but let me demonstrate what the question was rather than just reading it. I'm going to make a slide style of these four images, one landscape, three portraits. With the image selected, let's go to styles and themes, into the styles tab. In the tools, I'm going to create a new style. I'm going to give this a category, I'll just call it my demo for short. And we'll call this example one as it happens to be there and I'm going to simply create it. Now that was pretty quick and simple so all we need to do now is to test it. Let's bring down this image, this image, this one and this one. All four of them are selected, let's go to styles and themes. I need to go to my category, if I can find it here. I called it Demo, there's my example one. I can apply it. Now we can see straight away that something's gone badly wrong because instead of using the images that I selected, it's used the images that I originally used to create the slide style in the first place. Let's put that problem right. When we create a slide style with multiple images, we need to tell the software what part of the slide style is the variable part, the part that can be applied to different images, against which part of the slide style is fixed and therefore needs to become a part of the style, because we do have a choice. Let's highlight this image and open it into the objects and animation screen. Once we're here, we need to go into the properties section. Now, the problem with the slide style as it is now is this little box here. Because if I select the landscape, which is the bottom image of the four, we really need to see the number one in this little box. And if I tick this box here, you can see one appears. We can change this by just clicking on the box, but it's picked it up pretty well. Now I'm going to select each of these. You'll notice if I highlight portrait 1, it's the image on the far left. Portrait 3 here happens to be the one in the center. And portrait 2 happens to be the one on the far right side. Now I've created them in that order. It gives us a better idea of what we need to select to get the order of the portrait images in the slide style. But going back to the top portrait, if I go back to the main object and tick it, it's picked up image 2. That's pretty good. Selecting the center and doing the same, we get number 3. And the last one, we get number 4. So let's close this and recreate our slide style. We can overwrite the one that we created earlier. So I can go straight over the top of that and create. Yes, in this case, I do want to replace it. So now I can try those wow pictures again. There they are, all selected. Styles and themes. Double click. And there we have our result. Now I brought you back into the objects and animation screen with a different example because earlier on I was talking about a slide style with a part of the style being fixed. In this case, it's the background. So when we see the background highlighted in the bottom right corner, the main object is unticked. That means that the software is going to apply this background to every slide style we apply this to. But with the portrait images, as you can see in the main object, we have one, two, and three. So when we make our slide style here, the background will be applied every time. Coming back into the slide list, I don't need four images now to apply the slide style because one of them is already contained in the style. I only need the three portraits. So here, let's apply it to two sets of three so we can select all of them. Go to our slide styles. There's the slide style I've made with the background. Double click and there you can see the difference. You can see there's some logic to giving the portrait images the main image numbers of two, 
three and four in the examples where we had a picture as a background or one two and three if we have a textured background that we want included with the slide style now that background could be a frame or even a logo i'll see you next time